Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Reefy Ron, and today we're going to be doing another Killing Floor 2 tier list. Uh, and I actually have to change the background here. Alright, this one is going to be for Firebug. We're going to go over all of their skills and we're going to rank them and uh, yeah, we'll see where they all go. We're starting out with level 5 skills. Our first level 5 is Bring the Heat. This gives you 35% more damage with all of your fire weapons. That is a nice percentage of damage. Firebug's weapons kind of vary in terms of damage because weapons like the Helios Rifle or the Trench Gun or, sorry, Dragon's Breath or the uh, Thermite Bore all do pretty high damage, so adding this to it is pretty nice. Um, even adding it to weapons like the Flamethrower and the Cock and Burn can be useful. I usually find the larger tank capacity better for them, but for pretty much any of the direct impacting weapons, this helps out quite a bit. So I would put this one probably up into A tier. It's a nice uh, buff of damage. It's actually higher than most perks damage since most perks is either 20 or 25% and this is 35. Next is the high capacity fuel tanks. This increases all of your fuel capacity with all of your weapons by 100%. Uh, even if your weapon doesn't take fuel, it still increases it by 100%. So weapons like the Helios rifle will still get double the magazine size. They'll go from 40 rounds to 80 rounds. There is one weapon that this does not affect, though, and that is the Scorcher. The Scorcher is just set at one round. It can't have any more or less than that. Well, I guess it can have less than that if you shoot it, but it uh, can't have any more than that. So this one is pretty strong with really all of uh, Firebug's weapons. There's no real weapon that doesn't benefit from this aside from the Scorcher. So if you're not using that one, you're still going to get a benefit from this. I particularly like this one on the Cock and Burn, the Microwave Gun, the Flamethrower. It's really good for those high capacity weapons that you just want to keep spraying. And I would probably put this one also up into A tier. Lower than Bring the Heat because Bring the Heat helps out with everything and it is a nice sizable buff. But this is still a pretty sizable magazine buff because I don't think any other perk besides... Commando has a 100% increase in ammunition, but even so, I think that Firebug's weapons still benefit more from that than uh, Commando's weapons do. At level 10, we have Barbecue. This makes it so all of your weapon burning effects last for 150% longer, as well as they do more damage over time. This can be pretty good for weapons that don't benefit from the ground fire. Ground fire is generally better than this one if your weapon can use it. If not, then it's not as useful. It, it kind of depends on what your arsenal is, though. But if you're running like the Helios rifle and the, um, the Fire M16, it might be best to switch over to barbecue rather than ground fire. Same with if you're using like the MAC-10 and the Helios rifle or something like that. You get a lot of benefit from this. However, if you're using other weapons like the Cock and Burn or the Flamethrower that already do decent damage per second and decent damage per time, they don't get as much benefit from this. Uh, but this still is a pretty nice buff to all of your weapons. It still is a buff. So I would put this one probably into B tier. Next, we got Ground Fire. This makes it so all of your weapons that spawn Ground Fire do even more damage with it. This also includes your Molotovs, but more importantly, like your Cock and Burn, um, the Dragon's Breath, the Thermite Boar definitely benefits from this one. This makes it so all of your Ground Fires do three times more damage than they normally would. Ground Fires already don't do that much damage, but tripling their damage does help a lot. It actually equates to a lot of damage per second and it completely melts through any of the small Zeds, uh, even the medium Zeds very quickly, as well as any Zed that walks across the ground fire has its mobility reduced by 30%, so they can't move as quick. That's a really good thing and this is probably one of the most impactful skills in the game. I think I'd put ground fire in the low end of S tier because it is just a really strong perk, especially that it affects your grenades. It helps out a lot and it makes Firebug one of the best, well, pretty much the best uh, perk at killing waves of small enemies. Uh, at level 15, we have Napalm. Napalm makes it so burning Zeds that contact other Zeds will light them on fire, as well as the burning effects last 150% longer. Combining this with barbecue, you can actually have Zeds be on fire for pretty much the whole time as they're alive until they eventually burn to death. So that's pretty nice. This can work well with other weapons. It's just a nice buff, and I'd probably put it into B tier. Uh, same with barbecue. Then we have Zed Shrapnel. Zed Shrapnel makes it so Zeds that you kill with your fire then have a 50% chance of exploding. This deals damage to all nearby Zeds as well as stuns all nearby Zeds. That can be really helpful, especially if you're playing on like Hell on Earth. It's pretty much unavoidable that you're going to start enraging things like Strikes and Flesh Pounds, which if you have a good team, that doesn't really matter uh, because you likely won't be alone. You'll likely be with your team as Firebug and clearing out one side or uh, keeping one side more secure so other people can focus on those big things. It's even easier if those big things are getting focused while they're stunned. So if you can kill something like a crawler that stuns a flesh pound and then your sharpshooter can take care of it or your demo can take care of it, that's great. This also just makes it so if you do kill that crawler, you might have an explosion that kills a bunch of other crawlers or something near it. So 
Zed Shrapnel is just so nice to have. And I'd probably put this one up into A tier with these other two perks. Next up, we got Heat Wave. Heat Wave makes it so Zed struck at point blank range uh, will stumble back. This ability is incredibly uh, obnoxious, especially in like versus mode where this ability is just straight overpowered because it does force Zeds to move out of your way. So even if there's a bunch of raging flesh pounds or strikes or whatever coming towards you, you can just force them out of the way with pretty much any of your weapons. Point blank range is also kind of a, a strange term for this because some people think that it's the muzzle of your gun and that's not entirely true. Um, point blank range can also apply to something like the whole length of the flamethrower's flame or the microwave's wave. And it doesn't necessarily go just right in front of where your person is standing. So you don't have to be, you know, like this close to a strike or a flesh pound to get it to force out of the way. But it does seem to be within the character's animation model. So that's why weapons like the flamethrower and the uh, microwave gun can push enemies away so far away from you. Uh, it also works really well with pretty much any of your other weapons. This one's really strong and it lets you force your way from one area to another, which is great because if you don't have teammates that can do that, if you don't have like a SWAT with battering ram or a berserker that can tank through a bunch of enemies, firebugs are a really good choice to just have them force their way through a bunch of zeds and get to the other side. I would probably put this one up into S tier as well. It's just really nice to have. Other level 20 perk is not really as good. This is Firestorm. This increases the range of your cock and burn, your flamethrower, and your microwave gun. I believe this doubles their effective range. So the cock and burn still doesn't burn that far because I think it has a 5 meter reach and this makes it 10. Whereas the flamethrower and the microwave gun have something like an 8 or a 10 meter reach. So they get up to 16 or 20 uh, meters worth of reach, I think. Uh, may not actually be that far. So it's kind of nice to have for those weapons, but those are the only three weapons that it affects. And if you're not using those three, which those three are not, not always the most popular weapons, like yeah, Cock and Burn you're always going to have because you're going to start out with it, but not everybody goes for Microwave Gun or the Flamethrower anymore because there are better choices for the same price. Uh, so it doesn't affect them as much, and it's nowhere near as good as like Bring the Heat. This is probably one of Firebug's weakest skills, and probably one of the weakest skills in the game because it does only affect three weapons. So I would put this one into D tier. And then our level 25 perks, we have Pyromaniac. Pyromaniac makes it so during Zed time, you can fire all of your perk weapons as if they were in real time and you have infinite bullets with them. That also applies if your gun is unloaded. So if you have zero rounds in your gun, you can still shoot it. This is really good for all of your weapons. Uh, it's not as strong for like the microwave gun, the flamethrower, the cock and burn because enemies still have to be close to them and they have a high rate of fire. So you're likely not going to get that much benefit out of it. But with the Dragon's Breath, with the Thermite Boar, with the Fire M16, Helios Rifle, MAC-10, Spitfires, it's really strong with any of them. And it's probably one of the strongest Zed Time perks in the game. I'd put this one at the high end of S tier. Inferno makes it so during Zed Time, any Zed that's hit by your flame takes 50% uh, increased damage and increased damage from burning as well as they are slowed for 30%. This is better for weapons like the flamethrower um, and the cock and burn, as well as the uh, microwave gun. But again, those are about the only three weapons that it really helps out a lot. It can still help out weapons like the dragon's breath, the spitfires, the uh, like thermite born, stuff like that, but it's not gonna help out as much as pyromaniac. And this one I'd probably put into the high end of B tier. It's still pretty good and you can still definitely get value out of it, but not uh, as much value as Pyromaniac, I would say. Thanks for coming here and watching it. If you're new here, be sure that you get subscribed, that way you get notifications whenever I post these. Special thanks to all the members of this channel, as well as my patrons over on Patreon. They are a part of this list. If you would like to be a part of that, feel free to join down below. As well as if you'd like to see my other Killing Floor 2 tier list, be sure to check over here on this video right now. That'll take you to a full playlist of them. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye!